great Wednesday morning, September 16th, 2020. To God be the glory for yet another beautiful day, opportunity, midweek. And we are in a brand new book of the Bible, the Acts of the Apostles. And we know this is when Jesus went back to his Heavenly Father and the ascension took place. And before he left, he said, wait for the promise of the Father, speaking to his disciples. And he said that the Holy Ghost will be there. In fact, in verse 8, he said, ye, we, his believers, shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon us, and we shall be witnesses unto the Lord, both in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and Chicago and California and Switzerland and Ghana, wherever we are and to the uttermost parts of the earth. We had a discussion last night in our health book review where we're going over, we're halfway finished, you can still join us, but every Tuesday we get together and talk about the balance and taking care of our body, of course, physically being good stewards, but also um, taking care of our emotional and mental and spiritual needs. Well, anyway, there was a discussion as far as us being silent and secret witnesses versus being savvy and sent witnesses. The Lord has planted each one of us in different areas. Uh, some who are on the call are planted in courtrooms, uh, being advocates and attorneys. Uh, some are nurses in the medical field. They're planted. Some are directors in social organizations. Some are in the public schools, counseling, registered, uh, registration people everywhere they're planted so that they in their own way can witness and show people the love of God Now we don't have to proselytize and preach but our lives are an open and a written epistle to be read by men women and children everywhere they'll see that there is something different about us so that's how we are to bear testimony and witness of the Lord that he is real. Yes. And that's part of the acts. And then in verse 14, it says in one accord, they were in prayer and supplication. And we want to continue to intercede for one another and know that God's will will be done. So with that in mind, because of today's date, we would have gone to Psalms 46. The promise is that God will be in the midst of us, in the midst of her. And we shall not be moved because he shall help us and that right early because he is our refuge and strength. He is our past help. He is our future help. And especially he is our present help. And with that, when our situations come, our trials come, we can still be still and know that the Lord, he is on his throne. He is God. And he will be exalted in all of our situations today. So we can praise him. We can uh, worship him in every act that we do from the rising of the sun, when we go to sleep, when we put our head to the pillow. With all of our works, the Lord will be praised. Psalms 106. Praise ye the Lord. O give thanks unto the Lord for he is good for his mercy endureth forever and ever. Hope you have a wonderful day. Just trusting in the Lord, knowing that you are triumphant in his praise and to not be moved and be his witness. Have a wonderful one.